What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day. I was supposed to drop this video actually yesterday, but by the time the shoe got here in the mail, I was just like, man, I'm going to release the other video that I was planning on dropping on another day, which was supposed to be today. So today I'm bringing you guys, you can see the thumbnail, you see what sneakers they are, and man, I must say that I'm pleased with the sneaker. Yes, it is a woman's release. It goes by a couple different nicknames. Some people are calling them the women's Air Jordan 4 do the right things now the official name that they gave them though Was the Air Jordan retro 4 lucid greens and with that being said, let's go ahead and crack this box on open Yay! now I got these off of Nike you guys can see right here the official colorway and all that good stuff This is the women's Air Jordan 4 retro white black university red suggested retail sticker on these were hundred and ninety dollars I got these in a size 12 now I wear a size 10 and a half in men's Air Jordan Retro 4 sometimes I get an 11 just depends how they cut them that year and of course it's a new shoe so y'all know how we rock mm, them things smelling good so these right here these Air Jordan 4's they've officially been smell test approved by your boy the Retro Wiz kid let's get these things up out the box and we in there yes lord yes lord y'all these things are Fuego, and I'm talking about fire flame, y'all. And you guys know they came out with the Do the Right Thing fours, where they have like the scuff and everything, and they look just like the ones that were in the movie. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take a nice, full, detailed look at these. And of course, y'all know your boy gonna have to bless y'all with that dope on foot, y'all. But these things are gas, y'all. Let's go ahead. Let's dive in. Get a good look at these things, and I'm gonna hit the on foot, and we gonna wrap this thing up. Yay! All right, taking a look at the shoe, you guys know how we rock, man. I'm gonna let you guys see the shoe for what it is before we get all the way into it. You already know I always like to start off with the bottom of the shoe, so we gonna start off with the bottom of the shoe, y'all. Starting off with the bottom of the shoe, you guys can see we have this translucent green right there, and it is lucid green, as they say, and we have the black right there with the black jump man as well on the bottom of the shoe. Taking a look at the midsole of the shoe, you can still see that translucent green coming up as well as you have a cement block bottom for the midsole now this does kind of give off the white cement vibes but it's slight bit different y'all slight bit different taking a look at the outer panel of the shoe you guys can see that the whole upper does consist as well as the inner and outer panels of this nice tumbled white leather black laces do come inside of these right here you guys can see we have the white jump man with the flight black in the background for both of the tongues on the shoe I think that's a nice touch. I actually think the black and white does kind of go. You know what I'm saying? It is a nice little touch. Now, taking a look, you guys can see you do have this green, yellow, and red mixture on the shoe right here where I say that it is see-through. You guys can see my finger sticking right there. So whatever type of socks you want to rock with these, hey, you can turn them whatever color you want right there in the inside. Now, taking a look at the back heel, kind of reminds you of the 2012 White Cements with the Jumpman back there. Paying homage again. This shoe pays homage to the Deuteronomy right thing with all the colors inner sock lining is black you guys can see we have the yellow right there for the insole with the black jump man behind the tongue we have the air jordan right there in white with the black background green on the back as well now these do come with a second set of laces i preferably like the white laces with the red tips i'm gonna be rock rocking those to be exact now taking a look at the hang tag hang tag is slightly different y'all normally you get the clear right here you have a red and you have a black air with a black jump man and normally you get a see-through type joint all in all this colorway represents hope peace love and harmony you know some people calling these the rastas some people just going by the name that they gave them the lucid greens i definitely think that it definitely does look like a do the right thing to me just a woman's version slightly different from the pair that we were supposed to get but still a very dope four a lot of people seem to have passed on these maybe it's the time but hey your boy thinks these things are fuego i'm definitely gonna be doing the on foot for you guys now and i'm gonna hit you guys with a little do the right thing type of lace up on these things as well so sit back relax let's get this on foot done yay hey chase what, what, what that shit man you did
So I hope you guys enjoyed the full detailed review of the Air Jordan Retro 4 Lucid Green. I'm digging the vibes of these, man. Of course, you know, having that see-through area right here by the netting, that was something different. I promise you, if they had did this back in like 2000, like 3, 2007 era, people would have thought these joints were fake just because of this part right here. That netting area, having that see-through right there, it's different. And I know you guys remember, if you guys been collecting Jordans or been in the sneaker game for a long time, y'all already know, them Citrus 7s that came out back in the day, man, they had fake joints. They had the see-through joints, and that's kind of what that just, that's the vibe that I get off of these. But it is what it is when, they, when I look at it like that. But still, very dope shoe. I guess you could say that those see-through things, they was ahead of their time. Whoever knew that this would come back in 2020. But nice grade of leather on these. I love how they mixed in the fact where it kind of still gives off the vibes of the, of the white cement. Very, very nice touch right there. And of course, like I said, white laces, the best laces to go inside of these. But hey, y'all let me know what you guys think. Y'all let me know if y'all rocking out with the black laces or the white laces. I know you guys saw the white laces in the on foot. But, hey, I'm going to spin them pictures for y'all because y'all know that's what I do at my best over here on this channel. Make sure that y'all keep doing what y'all do at y'all best. I love you guys. Peace, love, and Laguna Beach. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Get it! Today, but by the time the video... But by the time the shoe, hey, this is the first women's Air Jordan that I've got other than a retro one and an eight. So without. This gotta be a tag team production.